forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated. This morning we are receiving communion by intinction, which is the fancy church word for dipping. Uh, as you'll, you'll be coming by way of the side aisles and returning by way of the center. The first person that you come to will have a wafer for you. There are also gluten-free wafers on the baptismal font. You'll dip the wafer either in the first cup that you come to, that's wine, or the cup in the center, that's grape juice. Everything is ready. Your Lord bids you come.
please stand. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. Amen. Giving God, we give you thanks for nourishing us with the bread of heaven and the wine of love, Jesus, our risen Savior. As you send us into the world, guard us from the power of evil, keep us in unity with all your people, and by your Spirit, move us to testify to your grace in our words and actions. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, who raised our Lord Jesus from the dead, lift you up and restore you to wholeness. Amen. Jesus Christ, the word of life, bless you and send you to be his witnesses. Amen. God, the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, refresh you in the resurrection life this day and always. Amen. Christ is risen. Alleluia. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. You may be seated. Let's thank our choir for this morning. Uh, just a couple of announcements that I would like to highlight this morning. First of all, um, not the annual meeting, that one already happened. Uh, notice next Saturday is the Mother's Day brunch. It's already that time, next Saturday morning. And then um, there's, a, there's a, a flyer in your bulletin about the ne Nepal quake and Lutheran disaster response. If you have been looking for a vehicle for responding to, to the earthquake in Nepal, uh, Lutheran disaster response is an excellent way to do that. Their, their handling of the money is excellent and they have great connections all over the world with local agencies that get the resources to where they're needed quickly. So if you've been looking for a vehicle for caring for the folks in Nepal. There's your vehicle, Kristen. Good morning. First, I would like to invite all of you to our ice cream social today. Following this service, we will have um, ice cream up in the Hortland building. We want you to come and see the new colors and see the new life that's been brought to that building. Um, by the Youth Committee, Christian Ed, and especially the Property Committee. They've put a ton of hours into making that building something special for our kids. So come check it out and have some ice cream. Second, I want to remind you that Mother's Day is next week, and if you haven't thought about what to get your mother for Mother's Day, we are raffling off a quilt out in the Commons. Um, it's a beautiful quilt with embroidered um, state flowers on it. Absolutely gorgeous. Hundreds and hundreds of hours were put into this quilt. We will be selling raffle tickets for $10, and all the proceeds will go to the trip to Detroit, which I'm sure you haven't heard about yet this year. Um, also, a little reminder that after spring comes summer, and the best part of summer is always Vacation Bible School. We are looking for volunteers, for snacks, to work with the kids, for registration, um, for all sorts of things, and there's all different ways you can use your gifts to share with that week of the summer, which is June 22nd to the 26th. Um, every day, the kids will come in the morning from 8 a.m. to noon. 
Um, so we invite you to find a way to volunteer and to give to this awesome outreach opportunity we have. There's a bulletin board in the Commons where you can sign up or you can call me and talk to me about what might be a great way for you to be involved with that week. Um, thank you and we hope to see you at our ice cream social. Thank you, Kristen. Our closing hymn this morning is number 836 in the red. Please stand. peace. Share the good news. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah.